And I want to move into this quickly as well. This is regarding Martha Stewart regard being the first, no, what being one of the oldest people featured on Flipping Sports Illustrated. And a part of me wants to say, Martha, you're 81 years old, Lev. Like, go look after your grandchildren. Go bake some cookies or some shit or whatever it may be. Cover up, please. No one wants to see this. But there's also a part of me that's also encouraged by this a little bit. There's a weird proliferation and normalization of cosmetic surgery in culture overall. It's getting very concerning. I just recently saw this clip of this woman. I think she's from Bad Girls Club. I think she's from there. This girl who's clearly obese. She has no business getting any cosmetic surgery. The first thing she needs to do is put down a burger or a couple of donuts and switch them to salads. She shouldn't be getting under the knife in any way, shape or form. And this girl from Bad Girls Club is going under the knife and she was getting a flipping BBL she was getting a bbl right this girl that was bigger than lizzo was getting a bbl and she was getting it in some shoddy place um she wasn't going it, she, i don't think she was getting any and no she wasn't going under i forgot what that term is called in medical science whatever it may be um and it was horrendous so that's been normalized for some reason people think it's completely okay for somebody that's incredibly obese um to go under the knife and get a bbl really and truly it's kind of the you know it's kind of god punishing you in a weird way if you're that obese and you don't have a bum naturally anyway part of the reason why you should get a little bit chubby is so that some of the weight goes to your tits and to your bum if it doesn't go anywhere along there it's kind of you know your bad luck but really and truly you shouldn't be focusing on getting any sort of plumping done to your boobies and your bum when you're struggling to keep your weight down but that is what's happening so that's the case i'm okay to see that like I, I like contrast i like to have the opposites so if we're okay with advocating for bbls with obese people who need to hit the treadmill then it should be fine for women who are geriatrics and you know in their flipping literally you know on the last end of their life at 81 years old to be gallivanting around on sports illustrated showing the little flipping tatas out and whatever me and me and the granny vay jj we should be okay with that, right? We should be okay with that because there was a point in time where the internet decided to sexualize Martha Stewart anyway and was trying to like, you know, act as if her and Snoop Dogg were fucking on the slide. So if that's the case, then you guys should be okay with this. You can't be grossed out of Martha Stewart if you were advocating for fucking Snoop Dogg for fucking her. If you thought Snoop Dogg and her were linking up on the slide, then you have to be okay with this. But personally, I think she should put on some clothes. I think she should go and behave herself and your time is over. And you know, when your time is over, time is over this to me is equivalent to me standing in the rave somewhere with some kids who are all under 25 and trying to connect with them and trying to make some friends this is the exact same thing when i'm in these nightclubs and i'm trying to you know trying to vibe i'm trying to dance i'm trying to have a good time i'm trying to keep keep up with these youngsters and then i you know it hits up in 1 a.m i'm getting a bit cold i want to get my jacket from the cloakroom and shit right <laughs> or whatever it may be this is exactly the good this is the exact same representation of it sometimes sometimes you just have to say the party is over and this is a good example of it you had your time there's pictures of martha stewart when she's young actually let me actually get it up here because she was an absolute dime piece right let's not let's not get let's not get that twisted martha stewart was absolutely smoking when she was younger but she had her time she looked absolutely amazing for the majority of her life she still looks great now i just think at some points you just have to let it go you really have to let it go and just be able to live a life as an older person and be okay with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever, personally. But maybe it's just me. But I'm looking at this picture now of her, right? Is that, look at her. Look at what she looks like back in the day. This lady was absolutely a smoke show. I don't see why somebody that had this type of run is worried about flipping showing out for the youngsters now. Just let it go, but mama. Let it go. It's all well and good. You had an amazing run. Look at how good she looked here. Look at these Vogue pictures of Martha Stewart like looking absolutely pangers i think it's okay to just leave that as it is and keep it moving but i don't think any of us myself included especially being a fan of the lady wants to see her looking this way i'm sorry but i don't want to see this i just don't i don't think that's appropriate i don't think it's necessary and i'm completely disgusted in every way shape or form please martha stewart let it go i beg of you but i am also happy that she's 81 and doing it so i'm i'm gonna sit on the fence of this so i'm gonna do a bit of a boogie and kind of sit on the fence and keep it moving when it comes to that but big up her